Hey, this is me on digital data storage. This is basically the way data is stored in all computers or modern electronics. Um, digital basically, all that means is it's stored in uh, terms of digits or numbers. Um, digital data uh, is stored using binary, which is a counting system just like ours, which is uh, decimal. Uh, so decimal goes from you know zero to nine. Um, blah 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 nine, and then when you get to nine, you switch over and you drop back down to zero and put a one in the tens place. Um, binary is exactly the same way, except you only have two digits. So you go from zero to one, and then you can't do two because there is no two. So then you do the whole um, ten shenanigan. So and then three is eleven. Um, four is 100 because you know you can't uh, increase either of those. Uh, five is 101 or 101 um, technically. Anyway, and so all digital data is, or almost all digital data is stored in terms of uh, bytes. Um, bytes are sequences of eight bits, and a bit is a one or a zero. So one byte is eight ones or zeros. Um, and that's basically you store everything on a computer. So text files, for example, are stored using uh, one byte per letter. And it's really simple. It's basically done the same way you wrote notes in um, like third grade when you didn't want your teacher to read them. You got like A is 1, B is 2, and Z is uh, 26, and you know so on and so forth. It works the same way for capitals. So, uh, capital A would, for example, be um, 27 in this system. It's not exactly like that in ASCII, but basically you've got one um, number value attached to each uh, symbol or character in um, text. So, you know, plus or minus and stuff like that also have, and, and all the numbers also have a, a value attached to them. And then, you know, you've got just a sequence of numbers stored as bytes that get printed out as text. Um, for pictures, it works the same way. Uh, pictures on a computer are made up of little tiny dots, and each dot is subdivided into three smaller dots, and um, those dots are lights. Um, one is red, one is green, one is blue, and your eye mixes them together to form colors. Any color can be made out of those three colors, and um, so and any image can be made out of a grid of these uh, units called pixels. And the way the color data is stored is you've got three of these bytes, one for red, one for green, one for blue, and they store the brightness of the lights in there. So if you've got a really bright red light and um, you've got uh, blue and um, green turned all the way off, you get a red pixel. Uh, if you've got, uh, for example, red and green, you get a yellow pixel. And if you've got red, green, and blue all on, you get a white pixel. And if they're all off, you get black, and so on and so forth. Um, Video is done exactly the same way, except it's just picture after picture after picture that, and uh, they're uh, shown to you in rapid succession, and it creates an illusion of motion. And then the last interesting one is sound. Um, sound basically were, uh, works using vibrations in the air. Is that's what sound is, and so those are represented as waves. Um, waves have two properties. So you've got a wave. It's got a wavelength, which determines the pitch and a um, amplitude, which determines the loudness. Um, so in a computer, you can't store something smooth like this in a really simple uh, way. So the um, way a uh, wave is stored is you've got a plot, basically. you got time on one end and um, amplitude on the other. Um, and you've got your wave in there. And the computer basically takes this um, wave, subdivides it into a grid, uh, forms a approximation of it using this grid, um, and then transmits that in terms of numbers, so coordinates on a grid. And that's basically it. Um, yeah, thank you. Hopefully you learned something, and uh, I'll make more of these if people are interested. Bye.